Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be exploring new way to store API key. So basically whenever we uh, create Xcode project or initialize any SDK, we tend to store and save API keys somewhere like this, right? Okay, let me show you. So we tend to save either it on the configuration file or we store it as like a API keys, something like this, and then access it all over our project to use it. So let me show you how to do it using this resource tag. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I have created a initial project. You can see it's uh, just like boilerplate codes. So to do on demand API service, you click on this project, click on the target and go to resource tag. One, you see there is nothing, right? Now, then click this plus icon and rename it as like API key. Okay. After this, we have to add resource here. But right now, we don't have any resource. So, what I'll do is uh, I'll transfer one uh, JSON file here for test purpose. Okay. And I'll add this assets here that this asset is our resource now uh, once you go to this json file it's have this my service it can be any uh, service keys okay uh, now you open it and then you see there is a tag here associated with it it's called api key cool now uh, on the resource tag on the prefetch options there are three categories initial install so the moment user install the application this will be fetched directly or it's on order or download only so we'll move it to initial install tag cool now uh, i have to access this file right so i'll create one file let's say key constants good so let me write the code and then i'll uh, show you Cool. Uh, so what we have done here is uh, there are like two uh, functions, which is one is like load API key. What it do is like it uh, from the bundle, it request API key, this file, the, this should be the same name as of the file, which is added. Okay. Uh, and again, it uh, access it from the bundle and uh, uh, check the data and whatever uh, data we get it here. Uh, we used AP, we use API key to so store it on our variable storage. Again, uh, this key should be very much equal to what key it's available here. Cool. Now let's um, access the keys. Okay. So basically, uh, this is boilerplate codes. What I'll do is uh, let me write the code and then I'll explain. Cool. So as you can see, I have created a button which have an action. Uh, uh, the moment user taps any of this, it will access our key constant, which we have created just before this. And within this key con constant, it will access uh, my API key one and my API key two. If you run it here, uh, let it run. Uh, if you run it here, it will not show anything because this part of code is not yet executed. Okay, so the best thing is like to load this uh, when the app is launched. So on our main, on our main, what we'll do is we'll create a task. Localized description. So the moment app is open, uh, app is downloaded or app is open, it will uh, load the API keys and then it will be ready to use. So let's run it and then see it in action. Okay. You can see this and the moment I click here, it will fetch it from uh, the bundle and then show it to the key. Now, few things I have to um, uh, add on top of it. This is a concept. So let's say for example, on our key constant, whenever you are like loading the API key, uh, what best you can do is once the data is fetched, it's better to store it on keychain. Keychain. 
okay so next time when you want to access the uh, keys it's better to uh, query it on each end rather than uh, our bundle resource request second thing uh, don't sip the key like a json uh, what i have done it here because uh, if you share it using ipa file it can easily be break down let me show you how so this is uh, something ipa which is created while archiving so what you can do is like uh, convert that into zip okay now open it inside you can see the key directly see this is the keys right and at the same time let's say if the keys are stored on some info p list file it's the same thing you can access easily so what need to be done here but archiving any of the project uh, and while exporting it you can see this so let's say for example i have like made it uh, just to demonstrate so while distributing it development x let it so see the only one resource either you can embed in app it's good if it is like an image or something but if it is key but if it is key or some important thing it's better to host in the server and you can add the uh, url here and create the and upload the build so thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe and help me support uh, to create this amazing videos if you have any suggestion for me please write a comment or reach me out on instagram or twitter the whole project link is in the description i've added my instagram and twitter also if you need any help tweet me on it thank you peace